Yo guys, it's me, Matrix here, coach of the Welsh Waylords. I am back. We are here, VDL Season 6. But, before we get to the actual week's um, start, we are here with our good friend, Byrat Brian, uh, from That Poker that poker Duo, and his team, the Charlotte's Drills. We are here doing an exhibition match between my division, the V-Create division of the VDL, versus the newly formed uh, Searing Shot division, which Brian is a part of. It is an exhibition match between us both, and I have done zero prep against his team. Just go, these are my six months I'm bringing against him this week. If you haven't already seen, check out my uh, draft post-draft review uh, video, um, where you can see the entire team that I've uh, drafted for this season. But for now, we're here. We're against Brian. We are bringing Mr. Mime with weakness policy. We have Protect, Psychic, Energy Ball, and Mystical Fire. That should give me enough coverage for most of his team, um, if I choose to. So, we'll see, we'll see. Um, not my main mode at all. Weakness Policy, see if it works in a non-max. Spoiler alert, it doesn't. Crobat, Tailwind, Venus Shock, Whirlwind, Dual Wing Beat. Whirlwind's there just to stop his Trick Room going up, basically. If I feel like he's going to be doing Trick Room, I can lead this. Uh, dual wing beat is my only actual attack. Venus Shock is literally there for activating the weakness policy on my Mr. Mime with filter, so at least it's not going to be one shotting myself, just two shotting. We have got Tapu Fini, Misty Surge with Surf, Nature's Madness, Icy Wind, and Muddy Water with the Choice Scarf. It should outspeed his Aerodactyl. Uh, pretty big stuff. Surf, yeah, Nature's Madness, Ice Wind, Muddy Water, pretty good fun. Uh, Nature's Madness is just there for some of his bulkier mons, just to, you know, scarf and chip, get rid of half the health. We have got Absorb Bulb, Unburden, Sceptile, paired with Surf, Tapu Fini. We have Energy Ball, Dragon Pulse, and Focus, Miss. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that turns out. And then we've got more Peko with Quash, Aura Wheel, Tickle, and Fake Out. I was going to debate putting Leer on there, and then I was like, eh, we'll uh, reduce this attack stat as well by then single target instead. Uh, Aura Wheel being pretty fun, so 100% accurate move, 100%, 110 power, electric or dark move, depending on what, mo which move I'm there, which form I am. Uh, fake Out, just Fake Out in it. Um, so yeah, more Peko it is running Focus Sash. Running mostly speed, to be honest, and a bit of attack investment. Actually, it's running full speed in attack. And then last but not least, we have got Mian Shao, one of my favorite monsters ever run in a draft league. And for the first time ever in about two or three seasons of using a Mian Shao, I'm running it reckless with power uh, with high jump kick, rock slide, and knock off. Obviously, rock slide and knock off go, don't get boosted, but the good coverage moves to have on a Mian Shao. Running it with Protect and High Jump Kick is pretty good. Um, he might figure out I am Reckless after I reveal that I'm High Jump Kick. I am running the Wide Lens to slightly boost the accuracy, so we'll see how that one runs out. Becomes 99% accurate. Um, I swear to God if I miss that 1%. Plus, it's going to be hard to predict the Protect, you know? So, let's connect to the internet. I know Brian's waiting for us. Searching now. And the code is zero four one seven. One nine nine two. And this is a series ten non restricted uh, draft league. So no maxing and just double battles, VGC style. So I will catch you guys in a bit when we have connected up. So see you in a bit, guys. Okay, and we've matched up with Brian. Um, so let's begin. Series 10. Where are you? There you are. This is a wacky team, whack ass team. Uh, so, let's begin, Brian. Good luck, have fun. 
I don't even remember what you've got on your team. I think you have a Kling Clang. I know you have plus and minus mode, so we'll see what you are bringing today. We have got Rabombi, Flapple, Mien Shao, Double Mien Shao Battle, Rapidash, Aerodactyl, Rotom, Wash. So I think I'm going to go for my fast mode because if he's got a fast mode, so let's go for Tapu Fini and Sceptile to begin with. Um, Mien Shao could be good in the back with just hitting them. He's only got one one that resists, and it's all like the Rabombi's only one that resists the fighting moves this week, but uh, well, this week for him. So we'll bring Mien Shao in the back. And then, could more Peko be good? What is he likely to bring in the back? Probably Rotom, to be honest, in the back. But Mr. Mime could be really nice. Um, I don't know, getting some Aura Wheels off with more Peko could be pretty fun. And he's only really got the dragon that resists it, so. Okay. Cover Bombi. Ah, who cares? Let's go for this mode. Let's do it. Mian Shell versus Mian Shell. Good luck, Brian. Probably leads me in shell. Ooh, Rebombi and Flapple. Speed swap. I think I'm just going to go for the surf here. And the Dragon Pulse into the Flapple. Should chip it. Let's use the tech. I could have gone for the Icy Wind, but I'm not really wanting to right now. Good damage on the Rebombi. Glad it's not doing much to accept out. We get the water bulb off, absorb bulb off. Yes. Dragon Pulse. Let's go. Ooh, that's not doing as much damage as I wanted it to. Okay, sweet scent with Hustle. I see it. Don't KO my Tapu Fini, please. Grab Apple into Tapu Fini. I've never seen that animation. Tabby Philly just dies. <laughs> Sick. Exactly what I wanted to see there. <laughs> um, I think we go for more Peko, just to start getting the speed up on it. Hello, more Peko. Uh, we'll go for an aura wheel. Well, yeah, we'll go for an aura wheel. Well, we can fake out Flapple here, actually. But I've got nothing for the Rebombi, so. Um, we're going to have to aura wheel you to get rid of you. And we'll Dragon Pulse the Flapple to just get rid of you. I don't think the aura wheel will get rid of the Rebombi, but. I don't have anything for the Rubombi on Scepter. And it's got Shield Dust as an ability, so I can't even fake it out. So. Okay, Struggle Bug. I can live with that. So he put me back to normal on one, and it's not going to KO more Peko. Please KO. Oh, nice. And we're now Dark Type. Well, we're now hitting with a Dark Type move. Okay, we got the double KO, which isn't always a good thing. We are the fastest things on the field. Okay, Aerodactyl comes out. Hmm. And Rapidash. Not what I wanted to see here. Um, Tuna City Berries. So we go for the Tickle. I, I think more Peko is slower than my uh, Sceptile here. Um, 
So if we go for a tickle into one, we'll have it better for the following one. So let's go for that into you and protect this turn until I get an electric move. Probably should have gone for the uh, Aerodactyl with the tickle. But... Okay, Aerodactyl protects. That's nice for me. More Pekka, please survive. Oh no, no, not until Peko. No. I needed more Peko. Staying alive. Not good. <laughs> and let me bring me and Shao out. Hmm. High jump kick's gonna do big damage. More damage than Rock Slide will. Rockslide could flinch though, but he could be faster than me. He did just protect that last turn. He might think I might have fake out, so he might protect. No, he didn't. Okay. Energy bolt. Aerodactyl used Tailwind. Okay. Flare Blitz Interceptile, gets the KO. Yep. Come here, Shell. All down to you now. I am going to protect a scout for a protect. he did switch moves from Drill Run to Flare Blitz, so he's not Choice Lock. Okay, so he didn't go for a Protect there. Oh, Bounce. Okay. So, just as well, I didn't do that, because I would have KO'd. He shouldn't KO me this turn, and I should be able to KO him with High Jump Kick as he is faster on the Tailwind. Um, let me just check this. He does have two more turns of Tailwind. So let's go for a high jump kick into the Rapidash. And if he paralyzes me as well, like this shouldn't KO, he is mad as well. Come on. Come on, Mian Shell. Get the KO, you have minus one defense. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Rapidash. GG's, Brian. <laughs> Oof, close game, close game. Literally no switching. Play the same rules. That's cool. Let's go again and let's bring the mode I really didn't want to bring. <laughs> I think that's my only game I win though, I'm not going to lie. Let's go Crobat and Mr. Mime to start with. And Mianchel's nice in the back to like hit things hard, um, but I really like Tapu uh, it's a fast speed. So let's go Tapu Fini and Mianchel in the back. I know that's not my mode, but Sceptile really struggles against a lot of what he's got, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm pretty sure an Icy Wind would have just been better that first turn with the Dragon Pulse. Would have got rid of it. I wonder if he leads Aerodactyl. He shouldn't, though. He should be threatened by Sceptile, Tap of Vinny. Okay.
Mian Shao and Rapidash. Okay. I oh, don't do coaching into your Rapidash, man. Hmm. Should will win the Rapidash out. Honestly. Um, Mr. Mime is not faster than these two. Alright. Okay, so we go for a Tailwind here. Because he can't fake me out. I'll go for a Protect and go from there. Okay, so he does go for the fake out, that's fine. Wild charge? From the Rapidash? Yeah, thought so. Don't kill me. No, I didn't think so. Okay. So I don't think Miesha might be running poison jab, but we'll go for this into you. And we're gonna go for a psychic into the Rapidash to K of it. Because Mianshell's probably um, got the Focus Ash anyway. Switch Rapidash out. Do it. Do it. He goes for the Wide Guard, predicting a dazzling gleam. No. No, sir. Activate your policy. Come on, this KO this rapid here. Come on, do it. Do it, Mr. Man. KO it. Come on. Yes! Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. Okay, so Aerodactyl comes out. We're going to go for the dual wing beam into the Mian Shao. And we're still going to go for a Psychic into the Aerodactyl. You'll probably get a good um, chunk of damage here, to be honest. Unless he goes for a Rock Slide, that'd be nice. But Tailwind and Protect is pretty good here for him. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Rotom's less fine. With what I have in the back. Psychic do good work. Oh, one shot. Jesus, come on, Mr. Mime! Mr. Mime! Um, I kind of don't know what to do with you anymore. Like, you can do that, do work, and you can do work in a bit. So we need to get rid of the Rotom. Unfortunately though, I can't go for Tail in this turn. Um, it's probably going to go for an Electric type move. So I kind of don't want to lose the Crobat yet, so switch you out and protect on you. This Crobat can do something for me in a minute. I don't think he can do stuff, but... Does he go for the fake out? Yeah, okay, he does. Vault switch into the end shot. That's fine. Tailwind petered out. Uh, I'm just going to go for the high jump kick into the end shot. I might die this turn, but I can't really do anything about that. Um, and I'm gonna energy ball the Rotom. I don't think the Mian Shell's got anything to take out Mr. Mine, but I could be wrong. Okay, let's take it down to its sash. Oh no, it just straight up dies. And Mr. Mine, let's do this. Oof, and it is a 4 0 oh, sweet game two by Mr. Mine. 
you do, Mr. Mime, this is going to be your only match you ever do well in. I can tell you that now. GG's Brian. That was a really fun set of games. Um, I really wish I got to see more of what he brought in that second game. I, <laughs> it was literally just set Tailwind and then swept with Mr. Mime. Um, really good fun. Really enjoyed this uh, exhibition match. And hopefully this has put us off to a good start into our, our, the sixth season of the VDL. Uh, we should be coming out with our first match against Gert Bilbo next week. Um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching.